Blanco State Park. What is up YouTube? Dude RV here. Today we are hanging out at Blanco State Park in the Texas Hill Country town of Blanco, Texas. I got the scooter, I got the GoPro, and I got you. So let's go check it out. Still having issues with Little Red, although uh, I was on some really rough road service earlier and uh, I had full power. I don't know, maybe, maybe rough roads are a good thing. This is not a real big park. It's not, it shouldn't take us very long. Besides that, Yappy wants to go into Blanco, Texas and do a little shopping. All right, so let's get cue the music. Blanco State Park was originally constructed by the CCC. Them boys built so many of our Texas state parks, we owe them forever, owe them a debt of gratitude. Believe it or not, I'm actually gonna stop because I don't wanna get hit on this road. All right, so we're gonna go downstream first. It's a day use area. And then we'll come back up and go across the low water crossing. It's just a beautiful day. December 27, 2019. I've been trying to get into Blanco State Park since I started on my Texas State Park document mission. It's been what, four years now that I've been trying to get into this park? And every time we pass through here, it's during the warmer season and the park is always full. And I can, I can understand why. There's not a whole lot of campsites. Uh, and it's just absolutely gorgeous down here. A lot of people out fishing today. It's supposed to be a cold front coming in tonight, so the fish are, should be biting pretty good. There's a goose, two geese. Two gooses. Geeses. There are actually, I believe, two dams here in Blanco State Park. We're passing one of them. We're going to turn around right up here at the turn around and you'll see it. I'll make sure to give you the optimum angle. And there you go. All right, got a little sun glare. Hope it's not too bad. I, I failed to put the filter on. There's some just some massive trees down on this river bottom. A little cypress and oak. Of course, that's indicative of just about all the state parks here in the hill country of Texas. There's them geese again. Honk, honk. I could just keep chattering, but I think the beauty of the park speaks for itself, and y'all are probably tired of hearing the 
battery rattling. So I'll mute that out and we'll just go to music. You can rent little cottages. You don't want to stay in the state park. This is the rough road down here. It's just a day use parking lot. But uh, I am not gonna shortchange you. In the experiential video, I actually went down that trail. So you gotta go click on the other video to, to see that. Lots of wind today. All right, so now we're gonna go across the river on the low water crossing. That's a cool ride there. All I have is a 750 watt hub motor. And 48 volts of lithium ion battery pack. Which just may well be empty. Yep, we had to do a battery swap. All right, momentary pause in production. All right, battery swap is complete. Let's ride. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna go this loop first. 
kind of weird the way this is looped out over here. So we have park hosts and then we have screen shelters. Kind of go in the opposite direction so you get a feel for the way the sites are all laid out. And then we'll go come back through that one and wrap it up. The dump station is right here in the, in the middle of all the camping loops. All right, now we'll go see the other day use area on this side of the river. Very clean restrooms, as what most of our Texas State Park restrooms are. What's interesting is they don't have a primitive camping area at all. There are two resident residences. There are two houses that are accessed through the state park. But the state park was a contribution of 13 different families. But during the summer, I can just imagine how pretty and green this is down here. There's the big, big, big bench table set up built by the CCC way back in the day. There's actually another dam up river. You can just barely see it right there. You can probably see it better than I can because you're higher up. All right, let's head back to camp. We'll head back to camp and wrap it up, close it out. Another one in the can. I should have put that other battery in a long time ago. It's much quieter. It's such a beautiful day. Weather's supposed to die, uh, is supposed to go south on us tomorrow. We've got a cold front coming in tonight. We're headed down to, where are we headed? Going down to the Frio River. What is the name of that park? Garner. We're headed to Garner State Park on the Frio River tomorrow. 
and it's supposed to be raining tomorrow and then uh, Sunday little little red is gonna be back in the game I have a subscriber and friend meeting me to help me get little red back up to normal operating maybe better than normal operating parameters actually have recycle containers here. Cool. All right. This is the final loop on our tour of Blanco State Park. If you can get in, you should come, come visit. Now, it's not one of those really remote parks that I'm a big fan of, but, you know, it's a great park to stop at on your way south or north. All right. We're going to whip in here to the Miss V. Close it out. Man, those are always so much fun. I sure appreciate y'all coming along for the ride with me. Looks like we finished just in time because it's, it's starting to cloud over. All right. Well, if you enjoyed our visit to our ride through Blanco State Park, hey, give me one of those thumbs up and blast me out on social media. If this is your first time to visit Dude RV, I'd sure appreciate you hitting on that subscribe button. I got a lot more adventures coming down the line. Three more state parks on this visit, on this journey. If you have already subscribed, thank you. I'm deeply honored. I really appreciate y'all helping me get to where we are today. The last thing I got to say is, y'all come back now, you hear?